and welcome to Gallon's Corner. Welcome to a very exciting video. Um, the astute amongst you may notice the backdrop is a little bit different behind me. You can see the sea, the pier. Um, that's because I'm at the boat station waiting for the boat. Uh, you're probably wondering, where are you going, Cal? What are you doing? You know, off to the mainland, do a bit of shopping. No, I've got my suitcase with me. Not just any old suitcase, it's the big one. Big bloody suitcase. I'm going to Thailand. Two weeks. Easily the furthest I've been. I'm super excited. Right, let's go get a frothy coffee and I can tell you more once we're on our way. Right, I didn't actually go for a frothy coffee on account of me already having several coffees whilst getting ready this morning. Um, but I've got slightly healthier and something to just freshen the palate. Um, it's Pepsi. Uh, I initially wanted the Coca Cola, but they don't sell it up at the end of the pier, which is crazy, isn't it? You know, access to Coca Cola is almost universal now. Might have it in the vending machines, but they're closed, just the cafes open. Uh, so I've got a Pepsi, um, and it is terrible nowadays. You know, it, Coke, Coke was always the best. It was always Champions League, you know what I mean? Pepsi was a contender, though. Um, but it's basically like Chelsea nowadays, a former contender. It's just mid, mid-table. mid Really, really disappointed in Pepsi. So many good drinks and chocolates and stuff are, are just going that way. Really, really falling off. It's sad. Anyway, boat should be here in a minute. Petersfield. Right, I am on the train now. Currently, I have just been consuming my packet of crisps and my substandard Pepsi. We should have got a bit more food, to be honest with you, on board now. I have arrived. Not in Thailand, no. I've got a long, long way to go till I get to Thailand. But um, I'm in a hotel just outside Heathrow Airport. I thought I'd better come up the day before this time, just because I'm setting off dead early tomorrow. I've got to be at the airport for like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and it's really difficult to get up from the Isle of Wight to Heathrow Airport for 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning. So here I am. Um... I would do you a little ring tour normally because I'm in a hotel and that is an exciting event. But um, my excitement is tempered slightly just because it's it's only the hotel before I go off to Thailand tomorrow. The hotels will be dead, dead more exciting when I get to Thailand. But I guess I should still make the most of it. I mean, it is good. You know, it's um, it's called the Radisson Red. Sounds all exotic, doesn't it? And it's exciting because you can see the aeroplanes taking off and landing like they're dead, dead close. Which is nice. I'll give you a brief tour. That's my bed. That's my bed. It's a double bed. Um, that is the window. It's not really much to see out there. A bit of a grim view, to be fair. Um, decent telly. Decent telly. Um, and there is my bathroom. Nice little tiles, bath, which I will be taking advantage of. Um, this side, you've got like a plethora of storage, which I won't be using. I'm not going to unpack. I'm off dead, dead early, as I say. Uh, and then your tea and coffee making facilities, and there I am. Hey, up. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. Uh, there is a swimming pool here. Normally, I'd be straight on that. You know, I love swimming, but I don't want to get my swimming trunks out of my suitcase and get them all wet and stuff. Got to go early in the morning. There won't be time for them to dry, so I don't think I can risk it, which is a shame. Anyway, I've got stuff that I can be getting on with. I want to do some editing for the second channel. We're going to do that for a few hours, and then I'll... Um, I'll have a little walk around. We'll venture out of the room. We're going to have a look at the aeroplanes and stuff. I'll show you that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to crack on with some editing, I think. Yeah, it's difficult. I'm so excited. I just can't wait for the morning. Right, editing. Hey, oh, right, I've been editing for a little while now. Um, editing and eating. And it's the, um, it's the eating that I wanted to talk to you about because I've just consumed an incredible sausage roll. Don't worry, there are two of them, so I can still show you. Uh, they're from m &S. Now, I don't shop at m and on the everyday. I'm quite reluctant to go in there because I do feel like they are stealing kind of normal working class foods and they're aggressively middle classifying it. However, I was waiting at Wolkin Station. They've got a little m and there. Um, and although, although it is expensive, when you compare it to actually eating at a hotel and stuff, it is much, much cheaper. Um, and some of the stuff is dead, dead nice, like this sausage roll. Yeah, consumed one of these and it was... It was magnificent. There's no other words for it. All right, I feel like I'm due a bit of a break now. I've been editing for ages, so I'm going to go and um, stretch my legs for a little bit, have a little walk round, and yeah, have a little look round and see what's going on. Let's do it. There it goes. There it goes. And she's off. Yeah, so this is the outside of the hotel. Just came here out here for a little looky look, a bit of a break from the editing. 
to be honest with you, I've left it too long. It's really dark out here. See it now, I can barely see anything. At night, let's go and have a bath. Get ready for an early bedtime. I am back in my room, and as you can probably hear, my bath is running now. Uh, that was a bit of a shame out the front, wasn't it? I've obviously left it too long. I waited too long. It's all too dark out there to see anything, which is a shame because it would have been exciting to see the planes, you know, just watch them landing and taking off and stuff. But what can you do? Um, I am, um, yeah, I'm going to jump in the bath now and get an early night, I think. It's all about tomorrow morning, isn't it? Yeah, have a bath and hopefully get a nice early night. Good morning. I'm going to Thailand today. I'm so excited. Um, it's quite early. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and um, I haven't slept particularly well. I've been so excited just waking up every hour or so. What was it time? Is it time? Should I go to the airport? Yeah. No, Callum, you shouldn't. It's three o'clock in the morning. Go back to bloody sleep. But... It is finally time now. It's seven o'clock. Um, I'm just gathering my bits up together and uh, I'm going to head down there and get ready to get on my plane. Right, I'm here. I'm at Heathrow. Um, going to go get checked in, grab a frothy coffee and take it from there, I think. I'm all checked in. Um, interesting experience checking in. I always enjoy that. I don't know who's going to be on my flight. Um, very, very different group of people to uh, my India flight a few months back. Seems to be a, um, a basic 50-50 split between young teenage backpackers and um, what look like middle-aged sex tourists with a little smattering of Thai people kind of thrown in there. Anyway, going to go grab a frothy coffee now and um, waste a bit of time. Right, frothy coffee has been procured. Um, just waiting for them to heat up my sausage roll. Bit of a cup off, old. It's cool, in it? She kept saying, um, Be you know, pork or vegan? And I thought she was saying, do you want to eat in? Ned might. Let's go grab it. There we go. It's a bit squished. Right, I'm airside. I've made it through. I have a little look around the shops now. About an hour or so before my plane goes. Never get through this early normally, so let's have a little look. There's a robot following me around. Don't like the future. Moving more way. Yeah, just off to my gate now to get on the plane. Thus began the living hell that is long haul flights. To be fair to Thai Airlines, it was broken up by regular nice spicy little meals brought to me by the lovely stewardesses. However, that did little to stop my buttocks feeling battered and bruised and my back feeling like it was broken. All in all, after about eight hours, I felt like I'd been swimming around Michael Barrymore's house. However, eventually the light did dawn and I realised I was within touching distance of Thailand and Bangkok. I've landed and it is massively, massively hot. I'm going to need to get this sweatshirt off sharpish. Oh my god, it is baking. It's so hot. It's hotter than India was. Um, just outside the airport at the moment, just waiting for um, the Chewy Web to come out and sort out the couch transfer and stuff, but yeah, bloody baking. Oh, this is so reminiscent of when I got to India. Not quite as hectic, but way, way hotter. Can't wait to see a bit more of it. Eventually, after meeting a few of my tour group, I was lucky enough to be placed in a taxi along with a lovely married couple who were good northern folk. The journey began and what a journey it was. Everything was different like in India, but unlike India, everything was clean and new and modern and vibrant and smelt amazing. I couldn't believe my eyes. My heart was going pumpity pump pump. I have arrived. I'm here. It's my hometown behind me, Century Park. Um, I'm one of the first people on my um, the, the, like, tour group to arrive. Um, it's only like 10 past 8 in the morning and my room's not even ready yet. I was going to go in and have a shower and a kip and stuff and then go and explore this afternoon when I felt a bit more with it. But I've got an hour to kill and Bangkok's like just there. So let's go and have a look, I reckon. So excited. It's so nice here. It is baking hot. Like, hotter than India. They didn't, they didn't prepare me for this India. Also, much, much more modern. Like, really, really clean. All the cars are shiny. The roads. Roads are better than the Isle of Bloody White. There's no potholes. Yeah. Like, okay. I need to get my bearings with me now because I've got absolutely no idea where I am. Just familiarising myself. 
Bloody hell, I've only come about five steps. Massage. Of the non-happy Indian variety, I'm sure. Looks like a proper massage place. Tell you what, I do get tight shoulders. Not gonna risk it though, I wouldn't know what to do if she started kind of wanking me off or something. Well, I mean, I know what to do. I'm not, you know, I've had boom boom and stuff, but it would be an awkward situation. I'm not paying for boom boom. Oh, it's like sensory overload. Right, I'm gonna stop filming and try and take a little bit of this in, but I'll, uh, I'll turn you around as well. There you go, this is what I'm seeing. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Trees growing, clean kind of pavements and roads and stuff. Everyone seems, but they seem really friendly. I guess I've only been here an hour or so, so far, so I can't comment on that. But I don't know, it feels different to India. They don't feel like they're amazed to see a white person. I guess there's hundreds of us around here, so less of a novelty. More massage. Wow, people must have really tight shoulders and stuff out here. Indian food. Talking of bloody devil. I don't know what that is. Looks cool though. A yellow vera? Yeah. Like a bit of aloe vera. Alright, I'm gonna keep walking. I'll turn you back on if I find anything exciting. Quite well, sweaty now. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm crossing the road, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And I'm gone. Oh, that's a bit hectic. Right, I've been exploring for about an hour now. Um, I'm sweating, I'm hot, and I'm really, really tired. So I'm heading back to my hotel. Because I'm a little bit worried that I won't be able to find it um, if I don't go to it. Oh, monk. Oh, well. Like a Buddhist monk, I guess. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, isn't it? Thinking I'm in London, it's like a Harry Krishna guy. That's an actual Buddhist monk. I'm in Thailand. Alright, I'm going back over this bridge then. Really hope I can find my hotel. I'll tell you what though, I am massively impressed with what I've um, seen so far in my brief walk round. Even like just up the road there, there's like three different dispensaries. I knew there would be like some here because uh, uh, I'm Jewish really sharing our mates with. I watch his videos and he's been in it. I didn't think there'd be that many though. Definitely going to do a vlog where I visit one. That'll be one good fun. There it is. Alright, let's get back to the hotel. I am so hot, this is crazy. I really need to get into some shorts and stuff. That's all in the suitcase. Oh, I can't wait to have a shower. I can't wait to see what my room's like. I've got swimming pools as well. I've got swimming in this weather, it's gonna be amazing. Right now though, I just need to check into my room and have some water, a shower. I'm feeling very grotty. Love in Thailand so far though. This is Bangkok though, so this is going to be different to the other places I go, I guess. London's different to the Isle of Wight, isn't it? So, I'm just staring, just feasting, feasting my eyes upon Bangkok. I am getting a little bit worried that I might have walked past my hotel. Don't remember having to walk this far on the way on there. I'm gonna walk down to the end, it's this big. You can't see, there's a bridge down here. I'm gonna walk down to there, and if my hotel's not, doesn't come off on my right by then, then I've walked past it. I don't see how I could have done that, though. No, fingers crossed. Uh, this looks familiar, this looks familiar. Can't actually remember the name of my hotel, that's no here, I mean, I'd... Nah, that's not it. That's it. It's the next one, Century Park, that's it, I remember that. Similar kind of colour schemes. Now she blows, right, hopefully I can check in, get this holiday started. I mean, I've just checked in and I've literally not looked round at all. I had a um, slightly embarrassing experience with the porter. Well, not embarrassing, but um, I'm sweating so much. Like, he's brought my bags and stuff up, but in the way up of the lift, I was like, right, I'm going to get a couple of hundred back ready for him. Learned from India, you know what I mean? Sorting through it in my pocket, surreptitiously. Um, get it ready, then I'm holding it in my hand and I'm sweating and I'm sweating and I'm sweating and he's like talking outside the room and stuff and in the end I just give it to him like, it's not even the time for the tip and I've just handed him a couple of sweaty crumpled hundred dollar bat bills hundred dollar hundred bat bills 
Yeah, slightly embarrassing, but let's turn you around. Let's show you the room. It looks amazing. So here is my front door. Um, as you turn around, you've got your nice little key card to get your electric. And that is my bathroom. Bath, shower, is there a shower? Oh, well, like a, a hold on shower. Um, that's like your, your little washing line. You can dry stuff on that. There. there I am. Hey, up. Um, oh, it's a lovely shower. I mean, I won't be going in the bath. It's way, way too hot. But I've got like a standalone separate shower. That's lush. That's well nice. Nice little toilet. Got some toilet roll. It's always good. You never know, do you? I mean, I understand the logic of using a hose, Muslim style, but I, I like my toilet paper. There I am again. Hey up. Right. This is my room. That's my telly. Got two single beds. That's nice. I can deal with that. I do like a big, big bed if possible, but I can deal with that. Um, there's my desk, apparently there's room service and stuff. Cheesy wing, deep fried chicken wing served with a chilli dip. No, that's chicken wing. Where have I got cheese? Oh, cheesy's below it. French cheesy. French fries with cheese sauce and crispy bacon. Well, that sounds quite nice. Lovely. Right, this is the room. So there I am, one last time. Let's do the hat trick. Hey, oh. Yeah, very nice. Right. I'm going to shower, I'm going to put my trunks on, and we're going to go explore the swimming area. I probably should have a bit of a kip, I'd do it early, sleep for an hour or so, but I just need to look around. Too excited to sleep. There's my massive suitcase. The big one. You've just got cupboards and stuff in there, safe. Um, I'll show you this. That was pleasantly surprised. Not only is there free water and tea and coffee and stuff, there's also... Some cans of full fat coke in there. You do have to pay for those. Mm. What's that? Thai beer. Lovely. Very, very nice, that is. Yeah, full fat coke. Can't go wrong. Oh my god, I just opened the curtain and looked out. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Look at that. That looks proper oriental, doesn't it? Those buildings there. Oh, that's better. I've had a lovely bloody shower. Um, really, really needed it as well. My t-shirt was damp, sweaty body Betty. Um, so yeah, lovely shower. Didn't even have any heat in there, just tepid was more than enough. It's so bloody hot. Uh, changed my t-shirt and got my shorts on. And I just feel a lot bloody better now. I hope you couldn't see up my shorts then. I hope you weren't looking to be honest with you. Anyway, um, I'm going to push on. I'm dead, dead tired now. I'd shut my curtains to uh, get changed. Didn't want anyone picky pooing in. Uh, and I sat down here and I was just having a look at the room service menu. And with the, sh like the curtain shut, I can feel my eyes starting to grow really heavy. I'm so tired. Uh, but I want to push on through it. My plan for today is basically push on as long as I can. Go and explore the swimming pools. Go and have a little swim and stuff. Get some room service and test that out. And then just allow myself just the shortest of naps. Just a couple of hours. Because it's a bonus day today, isn't it? You know what I mean? I've never been on a holiday where I've got into the airport at like 6.30 in the morning at the hotel before 9 o'clock. Full day, even if I'm probably too tired to enjoy it. It's just bonus. So, yeah, going to swim. Going to go and check out all that. Explore the hotel. Have a bit of room service. Um... Have a snooze for an hour or two, and then this evening, go and explore locally again, I reckon. Right, here we go. Off the lift. Uh, I don't know which way it is. What's that? No. Well, I'm in the fitness centre. I probably will go to at some point, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. Where's the pool? That way? No. This way. Oh, my God. Wow. Look at this. Amazing. And then over there, I don't know whether you can see this. That building. Looks like that one in London, is it called the Gurkha? Oh, God, right, well, that lasted long, the euphoria of the holiday, didn't it? I'm both angry and embarrassed now. So, got up there, uh, you saw it. It's amazing, right? It looks incredible. But I realise I haven't brought my towel with me. Just too tired to function properly. Anyway, I think I'll, I'll sit down and take it in for a minute. Just enjoy it, right? So I sit down, and then there's this group of Asian teenage boys laughing at my sliders. 
Uh, I think they're Korean. I couldn't really understand, but that's definitely what was happening. They were looking at them and they were laughing. They're just super giant ones. I'd almost bought some plain Nike ones on the way here, but they're like 28 quid or something. I thought, you know what? I'll save that money and spend it in Thailand. I'll have a much more enjoyable time. Who cares about fashions? Well, apparently they do. Really annoying. You know, I think they're South Korean. I don't know for sure, but they're dead, dead cool, aren't they? They're all super fashionable and K-poppy, you know. Who made the South Koreans the kings of the world? You know, I'm anti-racism, massively anti-racism. Everyone should be equals peoples in my eyes, but that goes with treating people with respect thrown back in their face. Well, I guess it's not racism, because they weren't laughing at my whiteness, I don't think. Just my sniders. But still, it annoyed me. Anyway, I think I'm going to come back, get my towel, and then I'll sit somewhere else because I'm starting to have unholy thoughts there. They're annoying me. So, come back down, get to my room. Well, what I thought was my room, 1121. Using the key card, it's not working. But I'm thinking, you know, that happens all the time. When I was on the cruise ship, I had to do it about 10 times to get it to work. So I carry on, and then the porter walks up with the lady who's staying in the room next to me. I'm in 1120. She's a British-speaking lady, an English-speaking lady, a British woman, northern lass. I looks quite tidy, actually, from one of the little I saw of her in my embarrassment. And I'm there looking like I'm trying to break into her room. The porter's like, no, no, you're in the next room. You're in the next room. He's nice about it and stuff, but then I'm explaining it. And then I'm over-explaining it. And then I should have shut up a couple of minutes ago. You know what I mean? Like, going on about it. Oh, I've only just got here. I'm really tired. Oh, I'm so pleased with my room. Just shut up, Callum. You're annoying me. <sighs> when you're annoying yourself, you know. You know you're not doing very well. Anyway, I've readjusted my plans. I'm now going to have my beef burger, my cheeseburger, all of the room service now. I'll show you when it comes and stuff. And then I'm going to keep for an hour or two and just get myself functioning at a slightly higher level so I can make the most of this afternoon and this evening. Right, let's order some room service. Nobody's answering. I don't know whether they're just away using the bathroom or something. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I should just go to sleep now. I'm too tired to make these decisions. Let's try them again. Try them again in a couple of minutes' time. Maybe they've just gone for a wee or something. It's worked. He picked up this time. God, that was getting me down a little bit. I am very, very tired and very, very hungry. I need to eat and I need to sleep because I'm not myself when I'm too tired and too hungry. Anyway, he said it will be here in about 25 minutes. So I'm thinking... Let's go and have another little stroll. We won't bother with the pool. I've seen that now. We'll go back there this afternoon and have a swim. But should check out the rest of the hotel, I guess. The grounds and stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. Here you go. I found the back entrance to it. This is a different angle, isn't it? I didn't realise how huge it was. Wow. And it goes over there. Or oh, is that the one next to it over there? I think that's the one next to it over there. Or maybe it's part of it. I don't know. Bloody massive, though. I'm going back to my room now because I don't want to miss my burger coming. Um, did just get offered a full body massage. So, was just sitting out there looking, taking it all in. And a little tiny guy sidled so up to me and he said, Do you want a, um, um, what was it? He said, Full massage, good body. And then he said, Full. Like, emphasising the full bit. I was like, uh, No, I'm alright, mate. Seemed really surprised by that. I might be the first white middle aged bloke who said no to that when he's asked them. Still, we're out here trailblazing. We're out here trailblazing. Right. Am I at the wrong room again? No, this works. That time, scared to put it in twice now. 1120. 1120. I'll be fine once I've had some sleep. It's just at the moment my brain is not working to its full capacity. Right, we await the arrival of the burger. It's arrived! Let me turn you around so I can show you. Look at that! Oh, I love a metal topped plate. I really do. It makes me feel proper fancy swanky. I like a little knob on top rather than kind of inserting my finger in there in an ideal world. But you can't have everything. Oh, that looks amazing. Brioche bon. Nice little thing in the middle of them. That's nice. Look at that. It's like glass, ice, icicle maybe. Oh, wow, they've even put bacon in there. Oh, it's proper burger cheese as well. And a whole bottle of um, Heinz ketchup and a lovely fresh orange juice. All right, I'm going to chalk in. I'll let you know how it tastes. Oh, fantastic burger. Oh, you can't see me. Fantastic burger. 
brilliant chicks, lovely amount of salt on them. And the orange juice, oh my God, if you could drink mermaid's pee, this is what it tastes like, I bet. Fresh, but incredibly sweet. Just amazing. You can't drink mermaid's pee, because they pee in the sea, don't they? Can't have the salt water, make you sick. Probably the urine would as well, but anyway, lovely bloody burger. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to sleep. Oh, that was lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, although I was getting almost too tired to chew by the end of it. Should I be this tired? I feel like I'm too tired. Although I did, I was knackered when I got into India. I can't, I can't work out how long it's been since I woke up yesterday morning, this morning. No, it's not this morning, because it's morning now. I don't know when it is, when it was. I don't know. India was simpler, because I just flew through the night kind of thing, and I got there, and it was morning. I didn't sleep all night on the plane, so I was still knackered. But at least it was simpler to understand. I can't get my head around it now. So, last little gap in the curtain shot. Let's turn off the light, and let's, yeah, I'm going to sleep for an hour or two. And then hopefully I'll be refreshed and we can go do some more exploring. Alright, I'm awake again. God, that was a, an addictive sleep. It was so hard to wake myself up and put myself out of bed. I had snoozed the alarm for over an hour. Well, I did it three times and then reset it out. It's gone three o'clock now. It's gone three o'clock now. I've slept way longer than I wanted to. And I don't feel like I've slept anywhere near enough. But... I've got myself up, and that's the sensible thing, I think. Get up, be awake now till proper night time, and then sleep the night through. Well, that's the plan anyway. Right, I'm just going to wake myself up a bit again and get a bit more with it. <laughs> now, being them on, it's too sunny. And that was one of the best swims of my life. Incredible. Can't believe I'm on the top of a roof. Just amazing. So warm, so lovely. I'm going to have to crack open the Gold Pro, get it on pack so I can take you in there. 7-Eleven. I've heard a lot about the 7-Elevens here. I'm going to have to pop in one of those. Maybe for a vlog later in the week. What next week can be here for two? Hey, they call Boom Boom, Boom Boom out here. That's amazing. A little tiny guy just off with me. Um, well, not him, but he's like a full body massage. Boom Boom. That's what they call it out here. Oh, I feel such an affinity with them now. So, I just had a quick look in that 7-Eleven shop and I managed to smash my head on the door. Apparently, doorways aren't quite as high over here, which is pretty embarrassing. And then, uh, I almost got run over by a scooter on the pavement. So, just heading back to the hotel now. Just heading back. Going to have something to eat there, I think. And, um, depending on how tired this stuff I have, I want to explore a little bit of uh, Bangkok at night. Although I might wait for tomorrow for that, because they've got like tours and stuff, so I know where everything is after tomorrow. We'll see, the future's wide open, um, and my head really hurts. Oh, I'm out and about again. So um, I came downstairs in my hotel just to check out the restaurant, thinking about dinner, um, and I realized it was getting dark, so I thought, go and explore a bit more. Still sticking local to my hotel, but I'm going in like opposite directions, doing concentric circles, well, squares. It's definitely a city that comes to life at night. It's so busy. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm going to crack open the GoPro. I'm going to get it all on pack when I get back there. And, um, off on tours and stuff. I feel like it's going to be a really good fun like, exploring this place. Yeah, can't wait till I know where to go and a bit more about it and stuff. At the moment, I'm just kind of wandering around. But even that's good fun, isn't it? When you're somewhere new and it's this different. Loving it. Oh. I'm back at my hotel now. It is so hot out there. This is definitely the hottest place I've ever been. I can't believe it's like 7, 7.30. Full dark and I've got a full body sweat on. Sweaty Betty Bloody Central. Amazing though. So much going on. I can't wait for tomorrow to properly explore and see it all. Um, I'm going to have something to eat back here, I think. I did see a McDonald's out there while I was looking round. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to save that for a vlog. Um, just going to come back and have a little room service and get an early night, I think. I'm up at very, very early tomorrow. We leave at 8 in the morning, so I'm going to get up at like 6 to make sure I've got everything ready, camera and stuff. Um, so, yeah, choose a bit of room service and get an early night, I think. Right, let's have a look at the menu. 
I've gone for a chicken burger. That beef burger earlier was dead, dead nice. So I'm going to go for a chicken burger. I will eat more adventurously tomorrow when I'm actually out there exploring Bangkok and stuff. You know what I mean? Eat the local food. But I'm here. I'm in the hotel. I just want the good night's keep. Um, so I'm going to stay familiar. And I've gone with a chicken burger. Right. It has arrived. Although I think they may have got my order slightly wrong. Look at this. Just do you like this. So um, I think that's another beef burger. Does that look like a beef burger to you? That looks like a beef burger to me. Unless it's some kind of chicken pate. Have they got bacon in there? Oh, there's no bacon, which does come with a cheeseburger. I don't know. I'm going to try it. It's a socket and sea situation, I guess, isn't it? Let's see what it's about. Let me take some salad out and I'll give it a taste test. Right, I'll be honest with you. There's no burger review. What happened is I scoffed it down like a greedy gizzard and then fell asleep. Well, I say sleep. It was four or five hours of fitful jet lags excuse for sleep however don't worry because you'll join me in the next video early the next morning in a state of high excitement very much is to come including meeting the tour group going off on my own exploring bangkok and thailand the variations that it has to offer from tits to temples from dispensaries to edible insects don't worry, this next vlog is going to be a cracker. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.